back at it again. So I've actually uh, done a little bit without recording. Which is you know, a bit of a pain in the ass for anyone who's actually been watching or following in. But what I've done is I've sort of set up, got rid of all the crap that I didn't need and I've just set it up how I think I want to set it up once I get the roof in and things like that. So what is going to happen is I'm going to have it like this, so I'm just going to have you know, all my stuff on there, then I'm going to have my press in the middle of the room, and then I'm going to have space either side of it, so I can sort of walk around, and I've got my window, and then I've got my drying rack there, I'm a bit, I don't know whether I'm going to have the fridge, I mean, it's literally got one thing of emulsion in there. <laughs> so she's not really been utilised that well, so maybe like a bar fridge later on just to keep a motion in there. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put up a blind and I'm going to paint. I'm going to do the walls black. So, see how it goes. Enjoy. <laughs> the walls but what they recommend is that it be 10 degrees before you start painting and I've got about 9.5 degrees I'm gonna start painting the best thing about screen printing is I've, nearly everyone's got a thermal thermometer I'm gonna do it later on when you hear me complaining about the paint flaking off the walls I didn't go on properly. Well, it was my own fault because I put it on before it could get up to a hot temperature. So I take full responsibility for that one. And when we see it flaking, you know it was my fault. Let's get on with it. My goodness, if I had known how much of a pain in the behind this would have been, I would have paid someone to do it, but it's a good, it's good experience. Uh, center block walls, okay, very porous, likes to take a lot of paint. When you buy paint, you want to make sure that you either get it with a primer in it, or you want to put a sealer on first and then put the paint on. Like, this has a primer in it. It's about $65 for 4 litres. I'm definitely going to need more. It's quite a small wall, but it just takes so much of it. This is just one wall, and I'm sort of nearly, I've got like a quarter of it left, and I'm just sort of going over all the patches. Oh, goodness. But so far, I used the roller. I got as much surface area as I could as fast as I could and then I knew where I had to tackle with the paintbrush so I'm gonna use my paintbrush as I've been doing and sort of applying it on there and then pushing it in 
to all the small crevices. You know, and then just give it a nice, just keep doing that. I mean, I think, I didn't actually YouTube how to paint a cinder block wall. I've just been doing it. And I think that's, it's, it's working for me. I probably should have done some, you know, investigating before I did it. But, I kind of like to just wing things. But it's gone alright, it's just going to take a lot of time. I haven't really recorded much for the simple fact that I use my phone to record and I also use my phone for music so I sort of have to choose between entertainment or footage. You know, entertainment's winning out at the moment. But I've got a fair bit of the wall done. It's just filling in all those little bits. I mean, is that how you're meant to paint them? I don't know, but that's how I'm doing it. And I mean, it's coming up pretty well. Just have to see how it dries. I am absolutely caked in this stuff, but progress is being made. I like it. Progress. I'm learning. Get it up. So like, that's kind of what it's meant to look like, I'm assuming. It's like nice thick coat. Once that dries, it should be should be pretty nice. And then, sorry, as you see, like obviously cinder blocks. Some are, some are nice. You know, that's probably what it's going to look like dry. Which isn't too bad. But then there's like, you know, like that there. It's quite gouged in. This is the stuff the roll has gone over. I haven't actually gotten to this bit yet, but as you can see, it's just it's just little bits. And then you step back and you can see it all. You can see where I've been, where I've applied a lot more. I've just been applying it and dabbing it in. I haven't done the bottom yet, but I've just been applying as much as I can and then dabbing it in. So it's getting a nice thick coat and then it's pushing it into all those small bits. Just time consuming but we'll get there in the end. been going at it for a while. I haven't recorded because I've had my music on, but I've done the, the wall and I've also done that wall. As you can see, that wall. And I've just gone around the bottom. Man. What a job. Cinder water. Oh. I tell you, I won't be doing this again. <laughs> but, oh well, but what I did want to do is I did want to record this momentous occasion of destroying Banksy's artwork. Okay, I'm going to cover it up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put it on and then roll over the top of it. And you can be a part of history. still live on in our hearts. A moment of silence for Banksy. Now. There you go, painted black like I wanted. I got there in the end, oh my goodness. I'm very tired and my right arm is very 
ready to have a little bit of a rest. But, you know, it's done, it's painted. Black, 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 black. Black, black, black. I've got my blind up as well, which is good. I really want to have this area as dark as possible, just so that when I do, this is going to be my dark room, as well as where I'm operating, so maybe a white floor. And then when the ceiling goes in, which will be another part, I reckon, once the ceiling goes in, lighting, you know, when I want it dark, it'll be dark, dark. And then when I want it light, it'll be nice and light. The light will reflect from the ground up, and I'll have light everywhere. And then when I take it off, when I turn the lights off, then the dark walls are really going to sort of show that it's a bit of a dark room, you know. That's what I'm hoping anyway. But now to just move everything back so that I can still operate and then when I get a ceiling in and when I go about painting my floor that'll be the next part I reckon but let's go a bit of a montage and then final final words for this I reckon because it's getting pretty late I don't actually know what the time is but it's getting pretty late There we have it. That's I'm probably going to call it a night now. That's me done. I've got my what I wanted, my black walls. Sort of got a bit bit of a setup. I wouldn't mind having my press off of a table. It just takes up too much space. I wouldn't mind it being a little bit closer to the wall so that I can use my uh, toolbox over there. But I'll get around to building something like that, which will make it a little bit easier. Might put some like walls on my uh, dry rack so that it can sort of stay away from the light. But there we go. Goodness gracious, I do not like painting. I, oh man, I commend anybody who does that for a living. My goodness, that's next level. I mean, you probably would have. I don't know if it's spraying the. Spraying the cinder blocks is easier. I mean, I could have got that, but then I'd have to buy a sprayer unit. And I don't. The, might the uh, exterior paint that I've put on there, which comes with a primer, so I don't have to prime it. Um, I don't know. It's quite thick, so I don't know if that would. You'd have to buy a more expensive sprayer to get that. But oh well, you know what I mean. It's done now. It's just a seven dollar brush. A roller. If you're ever going to paint cinder blocks, I recommend rolling on as much as you can and then going over it with a paintbrush and get more than you think you're going to need. Because I went through this is a five, five and a half by 2.7 room, and then yeah, that took 15 litres. 15 litres of that exterior paint. Which isn't a bad paint, you know, but yeah, 15 litres for that size room, just to give you an idea. And I was sort of scooping the paint on and then brushing it out and then dabbing it in. My paintbrush is taking an absolute caning, but again, it was only $7. I don't know if I spray, yeah, sprayer, but then I'd have to take all my stuff out of the room and oh, I'll see what's next. I really would like to put that ceiling in. Because that's really going to make the space a room rather than sort of a shed, you know. Plus it won't be, I hope it's not going to be as cold. But, that's it mate. I think I'm beat. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm, I'm a bit tired now. So, about time that I wash up my brushes and my roller and then take it from there. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy this. I love you. I hope you have a good night or day. And I'll see you later.